script idea, let's say you've seen someone or something or an idea comes into your head mm -hmm. and you say, I want to write about that. I want to finish 100 pages. Yes. What's your whole process from page one <laughs> to, done. to 99? Yeah, to done. There you go. Uh, gosh, this is going to sound terrible. Um, there are things you're supposed to do as a writer that you should do. Um, you should make an outline, you should make your character breakdowns, there's all these things that you like do, you make your cards and you plot out your story, your first and second and third, I don't do any of that. I do none of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the perfect screenwriter. Yes. That's when it has the folded sock drawer. Yes, yep. that's mm -hmm. the guy who does it all correctly, I don't do any of that. <laughs> I like to sit and think about the idea and then I like to think about the character, who that woman or man is and what they're like and what their world looks like. And then I just start to think about what the movie might look like in my head. And once I sort of start seeing the movie itself in my head, then I start writing it. I don't know how it's going to end necessarily, unless it's a thriller. If it's a thriller, I need to know how it's going to end so I can know where I got to go, if that makes sense. You know, because you always want to have that ending that people go, oh. so you think of the ending first. Like, what would be a cool, oh, and then, oh, okay, now how do I get there? So I go backward if it's a thriller. If it's not a thriller, if it's just a story about people and life and love or whatever it is, then I don't really think that much about what's going to happen. I just sort of think about the people and where they are and where I want them to be, what the world's like, what they enjoy. There's usually a lot of wine involved because I enjoy some wine. Um, and... Uh, what happens is I end up writing, I think, something that's much more uh, organic and much more, um, here I am a writer and I can't find a word. Uh, what is the word? Organic and what is it? What's the, what's the word when something just spontaneous? Spontaneous. Okay. Organic. I end up writing something that's more organic and spontaneous because I haven't sort of telegraphed it. And kind of like a, when you're acting, you know, you, you always hear, don't play result, you know, because you've read the entire script. So your character is on a journey. So you know what that journey is, but the character doesn't know. So you don't want to play like you know what's coming because you'll telegraph it to the audience. I find the same thing works for me as a writer. By not knowing everything when I'm writing, I'm discovering it as I'm writing and it makes the writing process exciting for me because I'm like sitting there at the keyboard. I'm like, this is great. You know, people are like, well, what's going to happen next? Like, I don't know. I can't wait to find out either. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a spontaneous thing. Um, and then hopefully the training and, and, and the laws of inevitability that I try to keep focused in my head you know, kick in as I'm writing and when it's done, it's, it's a really great, it's a really great story. But yeah, I, 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 I like to look at it as a living, breathing story that's unfolding as if I'm watching it. Um, and that drives me toward the end because I feel like if I do all the outline stuff for me, if I do all the outline stuff, I've already kind of done it already. So now it's like, ah, oh, now I got to write it all. I did all the, I already figured it out. So I just like to jump in and start writing. 